Gregor, the, the time's come to name the first team for the first match in a Rugby World Cup journey. I think on Sunday it's going to be 100 days since we all met uh, uh, in Stirling for that trip to Inverness. How's the, how's the prep been and how's, and how's the preparation been? Yeah, look, in many ways um, it feels much shorter than 100 days uh, because we're here now. Uh, but when you look back at it, it does seem a long time ago when we met at Stirling. And the players worked very hard throughout that period. We played four test matches. They've grown together as a group. Uh, and we've seen in our time in Japan, especially since we came to Tokyo, that we're ready to play. And they can't wait to get started. You've chosen the, the, the team to face Ireland. Just talk us through your decisions. Yeah, well, we, um, we obviously had uh, a few games to look at how players' form was. Uh, we look at the opposition and uh, what they bring. Uh, but we also look for the, the players who have played in these big games before and, and done well for Scotland. And if that corresponds with form, then it becomes an easier team to pick. Certainly the most experienced team I believe we've, we've put together the last two or three years. Uh, players that bring leadership um, and ability uh, to go with some really good physical skills. You mentioned Aaron there, just looking at the opposition, they are ranked the number one team in the world. It'll be, it's always a tough challenge in a World Cup, though anything can happen. And what do you expect from them at the weekend? Well, they, they played really well against Wales in, in both their, their games, uh, home and away, but especially the, the last one they played in Dublin. So they've, they've got their form back. And when they're on form, they've shown over the last few years that they, they can be regarded as the best team in the world, having beaten New Zealand on a couple of occasions. So if, if they play well and we expect them to play well, we've got to play our best rugby to win. And I was speaking to a few boys this morning, there's just a real kind of, and now an itch just to get going. It must be the same for you and the management, the coaching staff. How much are you just looking forward to finally getting going in this World Cup? We are, we are. And um, we're looking forward to the World Cup starting. So games being played before us will be interesting to watch. The players have an edge at training because they, they can't wait to, to start. We've, we've known the team, um, or the players have known the team for over a week now. So we've prepared as a team for for longer than we normally um, get that opportunity to do. So that's put them in a very good position to deliver their best rugby. And just on that note um, about the having a week when you know the team, you know the combinations, how helpful is it that you, have you done that in the past or do you usually tell them a little bit later on? The, the only time you really get to, to be able to do that is on tour. Because normally, even before a Six Nations game, if players aren't playing at the weekend, there might be some players playing in England and France, so you can't name a team and you can't prepare with that team if, if players are playing the, the Saturday before. But on this occasion, we, we obviously had the, the players out in Nagasaki getting over jet lag, acclimatising to, to weather and conditions in Japan and we felt it was right to get the team out there as early as possible.